All right, DC, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. I know you, as a high-level wrestler and Olympian yourself, are always curious to see guys who wrestled collegially on this level now apply their trade in the UFC. You know, you look at this guy, and you think about his past. You think about his background, how he has been trained from his youth to be here. Even though he understood he wanted to be a mixed martial artist, his dad knew that he had to wrestle. And that wrestling took him through college, and it leads him to the UFC. That is why you see him approach fights the way that he does. It's been embedded in this kid. And if he can continue to evolve his entire mixed martial arts game to match his wrestling level, he's held on wheels. He's shown that to this point. And one thing he has focused on is being more active when he does get the fight to the ground. So perhaps we'll see an uptick in the ground and pound here tonight as this high-level wrestler gets back to work. DC, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that through hard work, all the results will show and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now and in those fights, why? He's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. the octagon he's ready to fight our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight all right now for the official introductions we go to the veteran voice of the octagon bruce buff ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Paul Nickel! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. Herbert Dean's in the building. Right, he is right. the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Good. All right, early round action here. Kamal Usman's wrestling is next level. His MMA wrestling, super functional. But he believes that the jab is going to be the key here tonight. Obviously, he has gone to great lengths to develop that under Trevor Whitman. And he felt like he might actually be able to win this fight without securing a single takedown. We shall see. Leg kick. Punch there in the clinch. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so there's the takedown from Kamal Usman. We know he has fallen in love with his jab and his hands a little bit, but back to his bread and butter early in this one. Well, that's his roots, right? For as good as he is in the stand-up, for as powerful as the jab is, it's always going to be the wrestling of Kamal Usman that's going to lead the day. Whether it's offensive or defensive, Kamal Usman will wrestle if he ever wants to be the champion again. Nice 
nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Making all these shots count. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Tags him with the upper back. Nice block. He gets a single call time. Look at him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Nice kick there by Kamaru Usman. Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Wind it up on the right there to know that. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Nickel. Straight punches, Drew. Oh, big right hand, yes. Huge elbow lands for the Oh, a beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far. He sets him up beautifully. He always... Oh, nice double leg, yes. Nichols in half goal. He's having his way with him here. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Need some work, guys. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finisher position. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, so the big storyline in this one, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamar Usman. The wrestling's on point and the ground and pound going on as well. You know, these skills are what allowed for Kamar Usman to become the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. He is a tremendous wrestler, incredibly strong, and you are seeing all that happen in the octagon right now. He is on point. Nichols in half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nichols got the full mount. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Nichols back in full mount. Big ground and pound. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive, and when his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here behind Nickel. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle oh, now. Oh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in the submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go, next round is underway. The previous round figures to be a tough act to follow, just a great... Oh, my God. Oh, nice judo toss for him there. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nickel. Oh, 
Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. In the half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And now he's got the back. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, big shots from the top. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Kamaru Rusev. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Nichols going for the sub here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. Starting to get it in there deep. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Big combination here of ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Us. Oh, beautifully timed and placed elbow there from top position. Three minutes to go. Massive shot from the top. Constantly a moving target. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Mm, that was nice. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Usman's right back to the full mount here. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, high-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Usman. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. A oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. He's got to start throwing down. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Relentless pressure from the top by Usman. Moving his head here on the ground, Chant. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back. It helps him to evade those strikes. Well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Gonna try to take his opponent back here, and he does. Might get the TKO here. He's, He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Final seconds here of round two. All right, round three coming up next. to protect that body. Keep your elbows in tight. Stay focused.
You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. And well timed and placed overhand by Usman. If this guy doesn't move his head, his knife is going in. Nice punch by Usman. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Immediately gets the underhook. All oh, the separation the clinch. right away oh that gilly is tight oh yeah it's a fight here oh working for the submission again they're both struggling so much to get out of this position he's really working hard for this guillotine but he can't blow out his arms he's got to make sure it's oh submission defense on full display there he said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on it. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big elbow there, Williams. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Nick is an absolute mess right now. Oh, that's a Under three minutes to go in our third round. Get out. Oh, nice. All right, so an opportunity goes by the Bulls. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Oh, oh well-disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Pretty good jab there by Kamaru. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Nice single. inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. He passed the half guard. Good work from the top here by Usman. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here. Tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. These ground strikes are starting to add up. One minute now to go on the third. He gets hit with another massive ground and pound strike. He has got to protect this cut. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Nice defense. Now he's got a good body position, yup. While doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here, nice job by Nickel. Beautiful ground strike landed. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. 
Right. That's three rounds stop, in the stop, can. Stop. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh! He's got that single collar tie. That strike blocked by Kamala oh, He's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is duck. He's been. Oh, he's oh, oh continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Oh, Usman's in half court. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? Well, he's on his back now, going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chin. Oh, he's got the choke here. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Oh, what a moment there is. They... Oh, he's still holding on. He can't even stand. Oh, uppercut. Pretty accurate there from bottom Let's position. Back. Well, Let's at this back. point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely he's gotten it done with this. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he's going to drop his Oh, great submission defense. Let's go. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Nicholas I is closing up. Right hook to the head. Whoa. Protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. But if he wants to finish, he's got to lock that guard and drive his hips up into his opponent. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and punch. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about nice his fight that. IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Oh, right into Mo. 
measuring up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. Nice shots landing from the top position. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Ten seconds to go in round four. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. He's got to be careful here. Oh. Buzzer sounds for oh. the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. Heading back to the corner after right, that round. Nichols' yeah. eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Nice right punch followed by a left. Beautiful straight punch there by Usman. He gets it a single collar tie. Right Look down. him the wear right on down. his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Careful here. Wrist, wrist, wrist. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. It's hard to watch him target that same area. And every time he... Oh, that's a... Oh, boy. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And... The other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, All right, so Kamar Usman, your winner tonight by TKO, and the knockout's really starting to pile up later in Kamar Usman's career. He found it off of the jab, and, and the setups were beautiful. This was a clean effort from your guy tonight. I mean, it starts. It starts with the jab. The way that he pressures guys, he hurts them with the jab, and then he finds that follow-up shot that allows him to win like this. These TKO victories are very difficult to come by, and Kamar Usman is getting them at the highest level. Well, he told us in our fighter meeting he absolutely needed to finish here tonight. We thought those words were strong. The performance was stronger.